Hello, my awesome Cancer. I missed you, Cancer. I hope you're doing wonderful on this Sunday. I hope you are relaxing today, not working. I hope you having some leisure time for yourself that you are deserving. Cancer, you want a soulmate within to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Cancerians. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancer. For Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cancer in their life and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Cancer in their life? And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Cancerians, what's popping? Yeah. Oh, boy. So you let your soulmate go for now. You feel that they are not really reciprocating in this connection with you, not reciprocating, not communicating, not making a commitment. Based on their behavior towards you, Cancer, you view this person as wishy-washy in your life, in and out of your life, not giving you any def definite answers, not communicating, not expressing emotions, not telling you what to expect or where you stand in the life. You are concentrating heavily on your job, business, finances, money, financial stability is very important to you. Yeah, you're still attached to this person to some degree, but you're not giving yourself false hopes. You're being very honest with yourself. You know that you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work. And now they just have to meet you halfway. Yeah, deep down inside, you were hoping that this would end up being a long-term relationship, lifetime commitment. Yeah, universe, please show us what's coming up for cancer and how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey. Oh my goodness. You see this? Do you see this? Here they are showing up as Knight of Wands reversed, charging towards you. And here they are showing up as Knight of Wands right side up, charging away from you. So they are clearly confusing you with their behavior, in and out, in and out connection. Uh, one day they in your life, you see progress. Next day they disappear. They don't communicate. They don't express emotions. You're finally tired of this drama. Yeah. You said that it didn't work out, but you are being honest with yourself. Yeah. This is you. You've been pulled in so many different directions emotionally. This is you going through a lot of emotional roller coasters because of this connection. Yeah. You had to let them go. You see this? The universe is recognizing very clearly in this reading that you made the right decision. You see, this became a toxic connection, drained you, exhausted you. The person didn't meet you halfway, whether they didn't want to or couldn't, for whatever reason. And you see this? Uh, the breakup had to happen. But you still, to some degree, are holding on to this connection. Yeah. You hope that this person will one day soon uh, wake up and come to you with solid offer that you are waiting on yeah but you're not giving yourself false hopes you you're not really stopping your life you're not just sitting there waiting for the phone call the message yeah this is you knowing that you've done everything you could possibly could and you're moving on yeah you're very guarded emotionally you you don't trust right now emotionally speaking you're very careful who you trust. You are meeting new people. People of value. Yeah. People who are you, you are supposed to meet in this lifetime again. You know them from past lifetimes. So through your free will, you would determine who you want as a friend, acquaintance, more than a friend. Yes, it's going to be good for you to meet new individuals. Yes, it will be good, refreshing. 
universe, please. You want a soulmate relationship that's stable. You don't want to play mind games. No, you don't. You're not interested in frivolous connections, wasting your time and energy. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cancer and how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oh, this person brought you a lot of heartbreak. They didn't mean to break your heart, but it looks like you feel heartbroken, devastated by losing them. You feel you, you've you put in so much effort, time, energy into this relationship and it didn't work out. This is you heartbroken, but I don't think they realize that you're heartbroken. You hide it pretty well from them. They don't see it. Yeah, you still love this person, but you realize the cups are empty. Love was not shared with you by this person. They're not expressing love. They're not communicating. They're not telling you what to expect. It's like you feel empty in this connection. Yeah, you see, this is how you view them based on their um, behavior towards you. You view them as unreliable, inconsistent, not communicating effectively. You're trying to heal from this disappointment. Yeah, you've been waiting very patiently for a long time for this person to meet you halfway, to show you a positive sign that yes, this is heading somewhere after all, but you haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I'm sorry you're going through so much. Let's see what's going on with this soulmate. Oh boy, universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer, that cancer let go of for now, that showed up as page of swords and knight of wands. What's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time, especially emotionally? Let's see. Let's be brave and see what's really going on. Yeah, they showing up as a page again. So this person doesn't communicate with you effectively. They don't express emotions. They don't make a commitment. But you see this? They surrounded by four wands. Usually page of wands has only one wand, but here they have they holding four wands, which means that they view you as someone of significance in their life, someone that they want to keep in their life. This usually, four of wands usually speaks of commitment, marriage, engagement, living together. Oh, yeah, they know that things will need to improve, change if they want you back in their life. They know they need to change things. They need to uh, not be stubborn, set in their ways. They need to correct certain things. This is them reminiscing of you, missing you a lot. Yeah, wanting a reunion with you. Past life connections between you and this soulmate. So no matter what happens in this lifetime, you're going to see them again in future lifetime. Yeah. Yeah, you see, they do want to balance energy with you. Yes, they do. They do want to do it. And they know they need to put work into this. They're concerned because they view a single available out there. Attractive, a catch. They worry that... Uh, somebody else is going to take you and offer you a relationship. Universe, please show us. So they see very clearly that you let them go, that you are not in a relationship together. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time. This is how they view you. So they see clearly that they've been acting immaturely and you've been acting maturely. You see, they see it. They see it, that you've been putting efforts, time, energy, work into this. They have not. You see, they are a page and you are a queen. Huge difference in energies. They want so badly to reconcile with you, but they're scared that they lost you already, that you already made up your mind. They can be very stubborn, set in their ways, not apologizing. They don't like to admit to their mistakes. You see this? This person has very hard time expressing emotions, showing they are emotionally vulnerable, communicating, listening. They're watching you. So they're going to be watching videos like this, checking up on you, checking up on your social media if you have any. Mm-hmm. Look how guarded they are, just in case you reject them. This person is very scared of your rejection and judgment because they know you had valid reasons to separate from them. Yeah, you see, they recognize clearly. 
So they needed to lose you to see clearly that they didn't put work into this, that you had to let them go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So they are very heartbroken over losing you, but you would never know that if you were to look at them from the outside. They hide this heartbreak very uh, well from others. Yeah, they hide their feelings, emotions. They don't like to be seen by the world around them as emotionally vulnerable. Yeah, they hide their emotions very well. They like to control their emotions. Look how deeply heartbroken, devastated they are over losing you. Yeah, you see, they view you as walking away from them. Hmm. They show up as attractive. Very good at what they do, admired by other people. They want to manifest you back in their life, but they're so scared that you made up your mind already. They view you as very attractive, ambitious, independent, strong-willed person. Moving on with your life. Let me see what's going on here, Cancerians. Let's see. Universe, please show us... Um, What's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer? Oh, they in love. This person, this was in their subconscious position. So this person realized that they love you deeply, but they don't show it. Yeah, they don't express it. Mm, it scares them to feel such deep emotional vulnerability. They can't control their feelings. They can't just switch them off. Yeah, look at this. They realized how much they love you and it scares them because they can't just switch off those feelings. They can't control them, you see? So as far as their behavior is concerned and their communication patterns are concerned, they in and out, in and out, uh, not stable in your life. But as far as the feelings are concerned for you, they realize now that it's not some kind of crush they feeling that's going to fade away after a few weeks or a few months that they truly do love you and they can't let you go. Yeah, you see, they recognize your worth value. You hold Empress energy, highly vibrational, which means that they view you as someone with integrity, someone who's a catch, someone who's marriage material. And they know that their behavior, their energy is not matching yours, that they're going to have to make some necessary changes in their behavior in their life to accommodate this relationship in a healthy way. If they want you back, that is, you see, we're going to go into your extended reading cancer, but we're going to ask about the soulmate that wants to come back to you so desperately and the new soulmates that showed up entering your life. So first we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you, what they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so cancer click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys